Shuttleworth Design is a multi-award winning design consultancy that has been working with an international client base at the forefront of yacht design, engineering, and naval architecture for more than 40 years. Established in 1980, Shuttleworth Design was one of the first yacht design companies to develop the idea of integrated design, a way of approaching the engineering and overall design as an integrated whole rather than a series of parts joined together. This innovative approach has resulted in boats that are lighter, stronger, safer, and more efficient, and has firmly established the company as a leader in its field. Today, we are looking at a very interesting vessel, the Trimaran Adastra. Before we start, if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you love it, subscribe or ring the bell for more videos just like this. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure and let us know in the comments below. Her slender hulls and streamlined exterior allow her to travel faster in the open ocean, and at 17 knots, she has a 4,000 nautical mile range, so can comfortably cross both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans at high speed. Measurements taken during the sea trial show that her fuel consumption at 10 and a half knots is as low as 17 liters per hour when carrying 10% fuel and water. At cruising load, she uses just 25 liters per hour, Therefore, on delivery trips, her range is 10,000 nautical miles, starting with 30,000 liters of fuel. Adastra takes the power trimaran concept further than has ever been attempted before. Previous vessels like Earth Race and Cable and Wireless were stripped out record-breaking machines. The challenge of turning this concept into a viable luxury yacht Shuttleworth Design further developed and researched new thinking on stability and comfort at sea for this type of craft. Extensive tank testing and radio controlled model tests and waves were carried out to analyze stability and performance. Outrigger height was optimized for ease of motion at sea, and a new outrigger shape was developed to increase stability in waves. Shuttleworth Design have undertaken a state-of-the-art structural analysis of all of the major components in the yacht in order to achieve the lightweight required for very low fuel consumption. The deck and superstructure is constructed from carbon fiber with Nomex honeycomb core. The hull is glass Kevlar foam sandwich, and the interior is lightweight oak cabinetry using honeycomb panels. To help reduce weight further, virtually every aspect of the boat is custom built. This includes carbon fiber hatches, toilets, port lights, and ladders, which are all built specifically for the vessel. Aerodynamics and hydrodynamics above the waterline were carefully considered as Shuttleworth Design developed the overall exterior shape and kept the boat streamlined both for air and water passing over the structure. The smooth, seamless, unbroken surfaces also helped to reduce weight as the outer skin forms part of the structure to absorb torsional loads. A forward-facing door through the salon window gives easy access to a large sunbed on the foredeck. The aft deck has a sofa and bar area to port and a dining area to starboard. Further aft, there is space for a 4.9 meter tender and directly below is a garage which can store a 3.1 meter tender. The garage door has been designed to fold out and create a large dive platform. And while the design limits the amount of outdoor areas to relax in, what exists is still comfortable and a worthwhile sacrifice for the advantages this yacht provides. Plus, it really has a unique futuristic look to it, like a spacecraft plying the waves. I love it. Adastra's 16-meter beam creates a spacious saloon area on the main deck, which offers superb views through a panoramic window and accommodates a lounge area, dining table, and navigation station. I love the material design in this yacht, with white walls, white fabrics, and light-colored wood throughout. This area also has large skylights which allow in a large amount of natural light. Extra space has been created below deck by slightly flaring the central hull just above the waterline. This area has been split into two sections with a full master cabin located aft with access from the deck saloon. Though in a narrow area of the hull, there is still room for a queen-size bed with walking room around and a small desk plus storage. There are two further guest cabins, accommodation for the crew, and the galley located forward of the engine compartment. Adastra offers comfortable accommodation for nine guests and up to six crew members. 
The main helm station, which has seating for two, is positioned in a raised pilot house situated between the aft deck and the saloon area and forms part of the crossbeam structure. What's better than a two hull design? Well, three, of course. Well, that's not exactly how it works, but I think Shuttleworth design is something special here. The sleek spaceship design, the thoughtful interior touches, and making use of all available space, as well as all of the little things to provide for long-range oceanic voyages. What did you think? Should we review more trimarans in the future? If not, what would you like to see next? If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. But if you loved it, consider subscribing for more videos just like this one, injected directly into your YouTube feed. I'm Phil. Thanks for watching.